Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here, and today we're going to be taking a look at some Windows functionality that will allow us to remote shut down any computer that we are currently connected to. So this basically means that if you're connected to your network at home, let's say you're on your local Wi-Fi uh, at your house, you can remote shut down any computer on that network. You can do this at home, you can do this at school, uh, but a few things before we get started. If you do plan on doing this at school, um, there are sometimes group policies put in place on the domain um, by the systems administrator that will not allow you to access these tools or use them. You may be able to access the command prompt and things like that, uh, but at the school district that I work at, there are systems in place that are pushed over group policy for uh, student accounts that will not let you do this. Uh, so you can kind of just follow along with the video, and if you are not able to do this, the only way that you can get around that would be to get access to an account with the appropriate rights in order to do so, which could be you know an administrative account that only staff have access to. Uh, so if you aren't able to do this, unfortunately, I don't really have a solution for you. Um, I haven't found a way to get around this. The school district that I uh, was a part of or that I went to school uh, for, um, I did get in a lot of trouble doing this, which was kind of fun. Um, and I do believe that I am one of the reasons uh, that they ended up um, pushing this through group policy uh, because I was just doing this to teacher computers, student computers in the middle of exams and things like that. So it just wasn't a good time. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's why they ended up doing that. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how we can do that. So um, it might look a little bit different for you because I'm currently running Windows 10 on my Mac. Um, but I'm currently um, on my Windows machine. I'm just going to go and type in Control R and type in, oops, I'm going to type in Control R and type in CMD. And as you can see here, the command prompt will come up. And what we want to do is type in shutdown space dash I. And you can see here that the remote shutdown dialog box does come up. And it's asking us to add a computer. Now you can add either the IP address or the computer name, and I'm going to show you guys how you can find some IP addresses, um, whether you're on your home network or your school network. Obviously, they're going to be a little bit different because if you use um, address resolution protocol, it's going to return a lot more results um, on a school network rather than your home network, depending on how many people you have on it. Um, but if you're on your home network, you can always go to your router settings and check IP addresses and computer names and MAC addresses from there and just add them from there. Um, but I will be doing a video on how to uh, get that information a little bit later. But for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to get some IP addresses um, through the command prompt. Um, and these are completely at random. Uh, so I'm going to go back to uh, the terminal and I'm going to shut that out. And I'm going to type in ARP, which stands for Address Resolution Protocol. And I'm going to type in A. And as you can see here, um, it returns a bunch of different IP addresses. Some of these are not even usable because I'm the only one currently on my network. So if we can see here the physical address, which is a MAC address, which I know. Uh, so this is my device here with the IP address of 10.211.55.1. So if I want to shut this down, I would go back into shutdown-i and add this IP address as the computer name. So let's see, 2.11, um, oops, that's a comma, 10.211.55.1. Now, I already know that this isn't going to work because I do not have um, the appropriate settings set up in services.msc, um, which I have disabled actually. So a lot of times computers will come with this pre-configured so you can do this you know, with any computer. However, you know, since I know a little bit about this, I took the liberty of disabling this myself. So you will not be able to you know, SSH or remote into my PC or really alter it in any way because I have it um, set to do so in the services um, on the operating system. So I will show you guys what will happen and this will most likely happen to you also if you're on a school network and you're trying to do this. Um, but I will show you guys what the error is. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit shut down and I'm just going to select some random option. And you can always just type in some uh, random comment here and just click OK. Um, but if this were to do it successfully, it would shut it down and a message would come up. I'll show you guys what that looks like. But this would go away right away. This is loading something. It may not respond for a few seconds, but it will give us an error uh, down here telling us that the computer name couldn't be resolved or we need to contact our systems administrator or something along those lines. And this is one of the errors that you will get if you are doing this on a school network and they have it disabled. Sometimes, uh, depending on what uh, settings they have applied for your account, you may not even be able to access the command prompt or the remote shutdown tool. Um, I know that the school district I work at, you know, we don't even have, student accounts don't even have access to the command prompt. So uh, right here we can see the computer name is not valid or remote shutdown is not supported on the target computer. And I have disabled remote shutdown on the target computer, which is why it is not working. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Like um, when it is run successfully, I'm going to go back to shutdown I and I'm going to add this IP address. I'm going to add 127.0.0.1. .0 .0 
Now this IP address is your IP address, not meaning that it is the IP address that you're given on your network, um, but this is what your local IP address. This points back to your computer. Um, so if you were to act, if you were to enter this on your own machine right now and you know click OK um, right down here, it will shut down your computer, which is I will show you guys in a second. Let's uh, hardware maintenance. Uh, subscribe for more content. Let's just say that. So when I click OK, it's going to exit out and something's going to come up and it's going to say subscribe for more content. So I'm just going to go to shut down dash A and it's going to uh, cancel the uh, th uh, the login or the shutdown. Uh, but that is what it will look like. So if you do that, um, you know, on a computer on your network and it says that or if it goes successfully without any errors, that means that it has been pushed out. And as you guys can see, you can alter these settings. Let me go back to um, 001. And uh, if we go back to, you know, you can restart it, you can shut it down, you can do an unexpected shutdown, which will kind of just make it go completely black. Um, and you can always select the options. So if you just want to do hardware installation, uh, let's, you know, display this for uh, planned other security issue plan. Um, so I'm just going to type in, I'm going to go to shut down. If you go to restart, it's not going to give you this option. Uh, so just go to shutdown. You can type in, you know, 120 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever, and you can enter in some random comment and if I hit OK it's gonna come back up and like I said you can always uh, stop this by doing shutdown dash a if you're doing this on your local machine uh, but that's basically about it for the remote shutdown um, like I said you can't do this for you know any IP address out in the world unfortunately you can only do this for computers on your network because it's going to be sending those packets for the shutdown to the computer that you enter in uh, the computer names um, so, you know, you can do this on school, you can do this on home networks, you can do this on uh, friends networks, you know, I've done this on a few of my friends networks before, I've shut down computers and I've messed with it a little bit, which is, it's pretty funny, um, but obviously, you know, you won't be able to do this in every occasion. There may be some computers that don't have this enabled, unfortunately, but there's nothing you can really do about that unless you SSH into your computer, go to services, and, you know, enable all these uh, different features that Microsoft has to offer. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try to do uh, a few more Windows videos. I have a few ideas there, uh, but if you have any kind of video that you want to see from me, please feel free to leave a suggestion in the comment section below, and I will try to get to your video. I have a bunch of uh, people either emailing me or leaving me comments saying that I should do a video about something. Uh, like I said, I do anything really related to technology, so if you're having any kind of issue, if you want to see something, uh, please do let me know, and I'll try my best to get that video out. But that is about it for this video, guys. Please leave a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow, and subscribe for more content from me in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and thanks for watching.